Do you want Christmas gift tags that are more custom and special than the plain tired old tags that everybody else buys at the local Walmart or Dollar Tree? Or maybe you're looking to add some holiday digital download products for your Etsy or online shop. Well, this week I'm going to show you how to create Christmas gift tags that you can dress up and specialize until your heart is full of merry joy and they'll only take you about 10 minutes to make. Plus, I'll give you a trick to make them even easier to use so be sure to watch all the way through. We're gonna start with an eight and a half by 11 inch artboard in Canva. So you can make a full sheet of tags. And we're gonna go to elements. We're gonna look for frames. Scroll through until you find the frame shape and size that you want. Add your frame to your artboard. We're gonna pull this up to the very top. And now we're going to control D to duplicate it. I'm gonna select all of these. Control D again. And I'm gonna pull this over to make a second row. Now you can go back to your elements tab and you can search for Christmas backgrounds and you'll literally get thousands of choices to choose from. If you're creating these to sell, I always highly recommend that you use your own graphics that you have a commercial license for. That way you don't violate any of Canvas policies on accident. And if you followed me for any length of time, you know I'm a total graphics fanatic. So I'm going to use my graphics that I have a commercial license for. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add my background. You just pull it over and it pops right into that frame. Pull it up so that it looks a little different than the other one. Just kind of resize it in the frame. So you could literally use these just the way they are now, but let's dress them up a little bit. I'm gonna add graphics to each one. And a question that I get a lot is how to add a graphic when you don't actually want it inside the frame. And my little trick for that is to go back to elements, and I'm just gonna grab a square, shrink it down a little bit, and then I'm going to pull that right over the frame. And I'll go back to my graphic and I'm gonna add this one, shrink it down a little bit, and you pull it right over that square so that it doesn't end up inside the frame. And when you've got it where you want it, grab the frame and pull it out from underneath of it. And if you need to go back and maneuver or readjust your graphic. You just put your square back under it, move your graphic where you want it, a little bit outside the edge. So there we go. Okay, let's see what that looks like. You just grab that square and move it. Okay, that works. Okay, and we'll do the next one. Just move your square and then we'll add Christmas tree. And I always try to get the square a little bit smaller than the edges of the frame. That way I can pretty much tell where I'm at and what I'm doing. And let's see what that looks like. Pull the square out from behind it. I like that. That works. This one we're going to put right here. And then let's add the teddy bear to this one. Scoot it down and I'm going to pull it right over the square. You just want to make sure that your graphic stays inside the frame shape and sometimes it can be a little tricky. All right, grab the square and move it out from behind the graphic. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. And move on to the next one. This one, let's add the candy cane. Get down so it fits right. Okay, and I'm gonna flip this horizontally. So I'm gonna go to the flip button and click flip horizontal. Give it a little twist right over to the corner where I want it. And if you follow me for any length of time, you know I'm pretty much blind as a bat. So I'm gonna zoom in, actually see what I'm doing. There we go. And I'll shrink this down, pull it over my square. Okay, and now we just pull the square out from behind it and we have another gift tag.
If you want to add text over one of these frames, you can do that super easy. You just add a text box and type in what you want and put it over the frame. Actually, that would look better over here. There we go. And that's how easy it is to make Christmas gift tags in Canva. And you have a full sheet. I hope you found this tutorial fun and helpful. Please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I'll have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of using Canva. And be on the lookout for my upcoming DIY Planner Blueprint course. That will be perfect if you're wanting to start your planner business in 2023. And of course, I'll leave the link for the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro, which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. You'll find my 223 Canva Elements Keywords ebook to help you find some amazing hidden elements too. And if you're interested in any of the graphics that I've used in this tutorial, there'll be a link to Creative Fabrica. I cannot recommend them enough for graphics and fonts. They are super reasonable on their prices. And right now they have a truly phenomenal yearly subscription price going on. So definitely grab that. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Oh,